What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Felicia for those of you who have never seen my videos before and yes, that is my real name. Also, while we're on the subject of you guys never seeing my videos, if you guys are new here, welcome, hi. Please feel free to subscribe if you like this video. Subscribe, subscribe, please, please. Just kidding. Um, God, I'm not kidding. Um, but anyways, today's video I'm super excited about because we're going to be doing Instagram slash like photo ready makeup. I'm going to be going into detail, extreme, extreme detail about why you should be doing what you should be doing for Instagram and for photos, making sure you don't get flashbacks. So if that is something that you are interested in, then definitely watch this video. But other than that, I have nothing else to say. So let's get right into it. Like, I'm actually offended by how pale I am right now. I have not applied self-tanner at all. Before we get started, I just want to say that I have already primed my face using the Too Faced Hangover RX. First things first, whenever I am about to do a photo shoot or if I know I'm going to be taking a lot of pictures that night, I always, always, always color correct my face. So I am going to be trying out a new color correcting. Um, and this is the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Pro Concealer Palette. I got this in my boxycharm and I've been dying to try it um, so it comes with um, red green and purple I feel like these two kind of like coincide I'm only just gonna be using the red and the um, green today so I'm just gonna take a concealer brush and I'm just going to take the red now the red is perfect for if you have like Dark, like dark circles like underneath your eyes it like cancels them out so the green I'm just going to use to color to cover up my pimples I have a lot around my chin now I'm just going to go back over it with my Tarte Shape Tape I'm just going to apply this basically everywhere where I applied color correcting concealer and I'm just gonna use the same brush like judge me <laughs> It is time to go in with foundation. Anything that involves photos, I always, always, always use full coverage. Um, cashmere and Noisette um, with the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. This stuff is so good, I swear by it. Um, I'm mixing the two because one is extremely white, like not white, one is extremely light and one is extremely dark. I use the dark one in the summer, I use the light one in the winter time, and then I mix whenever I'm like in between, um, so. I'm just going to apply that while I'm at it I'm just going to kind of give my face like a like silky kind of look um, and then I'll mattify it out with some baking powder which we will get into later on in the video I also find that this just makes my foundation like really hydrating too I'm using the um, cover FX celestial custom enhancer drops and it looks something like this always need to mind your neck and your ears if you're not blending you need to I really take it seriously I really do I do whenever you have like problem areas I always dab I like don't rub <laughs> when hoops are life so once again for concealer I am using the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm just literally going to drag it in kind of like a triangle shape for underneath my eyes I'm also going to do my nose and my forehead, also my chin. And then I take the dampened beauty sponge. Oh my gosh, I just took a chunk out of it. I don't think it's supposed to do that. This is a really important part for this look. You always wanna make sure that you are blending stuff out and you're sculpting your face and you wanna make sure that you're accentuating your features. Also, whenever you are picking out a concealer, you wanna make sure that the concealer is like two, maybe even three shades lighter than your actual foundation. Actually, three is pushing it. I would say two shades lighter than your foundation. So my foundation or my concealer that I'm using is in the color Fair Neutral. Now, since I am pale, um, and I actually generally prefer to do this anyways um, but I love to use cool tone 
um, colors for my contour, especially in the winter time. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna open up my contour kit. I'm gonna use this um, taupey color. As you guys can see, I use it a lot because it's hit pan. You wanna make sure that you're shaping your face for photos. So um, know your face shape. You can look up your face shape and like determine all of this online. I have determined that my face shape is like an oval. Basically, um, how I contour my face is, is I contour my um, cheekbones, my jawline, and I also contour the edges of my forehead. Even though my forehead is not like big, I always like to make my face kind of brie, brie, be brought in. Do that. Now, usually every day, I just like kind of like swipe it on my nose, but whenever I'm doing something a little bit more glammed up, um, I always tend to contour my nose um, a little bit differently. So I'm actually going to be using a more precise brush for that. And I'm going to be going in with this Sigma brush. So I'm gonna go in with the same color on my Anastasia contour kit with the E4, E40 brush. The further in the lines are, is the narrower your nose is going to look in photos and also in real life. So I prefer to have a more narrow look. That's just my opinion. I literally love to give myself a rhinoplasty using makeup. Sorry, not sorry about it. So I'm going to literally just take this Morphe and I'm just going to blend out my nose. Also going to blend out my contour. Now, probably the most important part for Instagram ready, photo shoot ready, makeup, whatever you wanna call it, I don't even know what to call it. Just makeup for photos. Um, it's going to be your baking powder. My OG favorite baking powder ever is Laura Mercier. If you guys don't know what baking is, it is so important. And if you do and you don't do it, I highly recommend that you do it. Your photos are going to depend on this. It really is. The reason why baking is so important also is because it helps you like make your face seamless, creaseless, um, and just more flawless. So that way your photos will literally turn out amazing. And I also have been doing it underneath my contour recently just to kind of make my contour like super sharp and beautiful. So while I'm baking, I am going to do my eyebrows. Now I'm not actually gonna do my eyebrows on camera because I do have a video that I where I do my full um, eyebrow routine and I will put that up here right now or down in the link below. If you guys want to, you can watch it. If you guys already know how to do your eyebrows, then by all means, go ahead. But um, it's really, really important that you are doing a full accentuated eyebrow for your pictures. I'm going to do these off camera and then I will come back to you guys. Brows are done and they're concealed. Everything's beautiful. At least I hope so. And um, I am just going to wipe away that excess baking powder. Now we can highlight. Um, me personally, highlight is probably one of the most important things ever. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to use my OG cream concealer that I love using. It is the Becca Opal Cream Concealer. Like, look at that. Look at that, you guys. I use a synthetic brush whenever I'm applying this. I'm using a Sonia Kushik um, number 121 brush. Now, I'm going to use powder highlight now, because you know I ain't done there. Um, I got this for Christmas for my aunt. Shout out to my aunt if you're watching this. I also got this mirror from her too. <laughs> it's like a beautiful gold color. Um, it's Laura Geller's Baked Highlight. Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Gilded Honey. I've heard amazing things about this, and I'm so happy that my aunt got it for me, so thank you. Put it on over top of the cream highlight, and yeah. So I definitely recommend that. I'm also going to just blend this out on the top part. So next I'm just going to put this on my brow bone and I'm going to put this on my nose, Cupid's bow, and yeah. So basically with eyes, um, I always kind of steer away from glitter whenever I'm going to do like something that includes flash. Um, I really just don't want any flashback at all and glitter could potentially do that. I always kind of like shape my eye. Um, so like once again, you can figure out your eye shape too online. You can type in like what's my eye shape, whatever. My eye shape is like definitely like an almond and like round. I don't know how to explain it. Let's just go in with a transition color. 
Um, you guys know I already love my Jaclyn Hill for transition colors. Don't mind this. I burnt it a little bit. I don't want to talk about it. I just don't. Um, so I'm going to just use like a skin colored transition color. So that way it makes it easy because I am going in with a, like, a darker um, color. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? We're gonna frame my eye. So that means that a darker color is going to go on the outer eye and a more neutral but like kind of shimmery color is gonna go on my inner eye. Um, and that's how you should be doing your makeup whenever you're about to take any sort of photos. Um, just so you guys know, um, you wanna always frame your eye. Now, if framing your eye means putting a darker color on your lid for your particular eye, then do it. This is the Urban Decay um, single eyeshadow and it is in the color lounge. Oh, you guys, it is absolutely gorgeous. I, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it, it is a two color or two toned eyeshadow. So it has red undertones with a blue kind of like shimmery color as well on the top. I am obsessed with it. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Um, so I'm just going to take it and I'm going to put it like on like the outer corner of my eye And next thing that I'm going to do is Too Faced Sweet Peach And what I love to do is I love to combine this color and I love to combine the color Luscious This is probably the most used color on the entire palette that I use It is so gorgeous you guys, so gorgeous Oh my god, I'm literally like... Is it possible to get like turned on by makeup? I need to calm down. I need to calm down just a little bit. As you guys can see, there is like that fall right here. And I will show you guys what to do in like two seconds. Just bear with me. But I am going to blend this out a little bit because I don't want it to be so harsh on the top. So I'm going to go back in with that transition color. And I'm just going to blend out the top kind of like where my brow bone meets the um, color that I put on. Just to blend it out, I don't want it to be harsh at all. But I also want it to be like pretty, you know. I'm going to put a super blinding color right in the corner of my eyes. I always do this. It looks amazing in photos and I highly recommend that you guys put this in your routine. I have this pure bronze and brighten. Yes, this one right here. This is what I want. Super blinding. I'm also just going to do like the bottom part of my eye. So I'm going to take like a little like smudge brush and I'm going to use the lounge color that I have and just put this like um, right underneath my waterline just because I actually prefer to not use bottom liner. Um, I haven't used bottom liner, I swear to God, in like three years. I just don't think that it's good on like my eyes. It doesn't look good on me. That's just my opinion. I also feel like it makes your eyes smaller. Okay. So now that we have done our like eyeshadow, we can go in with mascara and eyeliner. I'm going to be using the um, Stila, St the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner. Why am I using a travel size? I don't really know, Felicia. Why am I using a travel size? Whatever. Okay, so another thing that I recommend for my pictures, but a lot of people are not comfortable with are fake eyelashes. Now, you do not have to wear fake eyelashes, but if you want to learn how to and you don't know how to, um, I do have a video on that as well. It's a how-to, so yeah, I will do these off camera and then I will get back to you and we can move on to lips. So I applied my fake eyelashes and I also went ahead and applied Malibu by Kylie, which looks like this. This is like one of my favorite lipsticks, but I do kind of want to like put a nude over it. You guys already know this is my go-to nude. Like if literally since like June, I have been applying this. I can't help it. This is the Send Me More Nudes um, Velvet Liquid Lipstick in Bare. And I kind of want to like put it like in like the center of my lips. I feel like a nude you can never go wrong with for photos. Um, I feel like this is a little bit dark for me right now because I am a little pale. So I'm just gonna like lighten it up just a tad. Um, before I go, I am going to just spray my face. Two different types of sprays. That's right. I'm doing that tonight. Um, I'm going to be spraying my face with the um, Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. 
and I'm also going to be spraying my face with the Cover FX Illuminating Spray. So if you guys liked this video, then definitely please feel free to subscribe, comment, like, follow me on social media, whatever you guys want to do, it is up to you, but I definitely hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then I hope to see you guys in my next one, but other than that, you guys have a great, safe night. Thank you.